when you go to our sales tab, you'll find four options, transactions, subscriptions, affiliate invoices, and my affiliate program. Let's start with transactions. On this page, you will find the payments made by your customers through your funnels order forms. In this list, you'll be able to see the date and time of the transaction along with the name and email of your customer. If you click on either of those, you'll be redirected to the contact page that will contain the rest of your customer's information. You can also see the name of the offer that was bought, and that offer is actually clickable. So if you click on it, you'll be redirected to the funnel that contains the order form you used to sell it. Additionally, you'll see the total amount paid by the customer. And at the very end, you'll see a three dot menu for each transaction where you'll have several options like manually sending an invoice for the transaction to your customer, viewing the invoice, downloading it, and also refunding the payment. Now let's check out the filters here on the left. This filters help you find specific transactions more easily. You can search by email, price plan, type of transaction, whether it's a sell or a refund. And finally, you can also filter by date. Now let's go ahead and open the second option in the sell step, which is subscriptions. Just like transactions, you will go to this page to look for a list of customers who are currently subscribed to one of your offers. You'll see your customer's name here. And when you click on it, you'll be able to see the funnel that contains the order form where they subscribed. Each item or each subscription will have its own three dot menu where you'll find the option to cancel their subscription. When canceling a subscription, you'll have two options. The first one is to cancel the subscription immediately. And what this will do is revoke all the resources included in their offer instantly. Or the second option is to cancel the subscription on the next payment date meaning that your customer will continue to have access to the resources of their subscription up to their renewal date. So they'll lose access right before their subscription gets renewed. For example, let's say this is a monthly subscription. If we choose to cancel it on the next payment date, that means the subscription will be canceled next month right before the payment date. We can also find filters here on the subscription page. You can search by email and you can search by status. So there are three status options. The first one is active, meaning the customer is still paying. Then we have canceled, which means the customer is no longer paying for their subscription. And then completed, which is for customers who paid for their subscription through a payment plan. There's also an option to search by the type of price plan that was used. Now let's check out the affiliate invoices page. These pages are all very similar in regards to the menus and options that you'll find. This page would be useful for those of you who have an affiliate program so you can keep track of the invoices and payments to your affiliates. Affiliate invoices are generated automatically by system.io and they are always generated on the 10th of each month, but they also depend on the conditions that you establish for your affiliate program. Once the affiliate invoice is generated, you'll be able to see it here on the list and you'll be able to see the invoice number, the amount that is due to pay out to your affiliates, and the payment method shows them by your affiliate in order to gather commission. Right now, they can choose to get paid with PayPal or, or via wire transfer. Keep in mind that if they choose a wire transfer, they can choose any international bank in order to get paid. And finally, you'll be able to see the status of the invoice. So when first generated, the invoice will be marked as unpaid. But once the invoice is paid, you can mark it as paid manually. So you'll be able to see the invoices for your affiliates here. But for your affiliate side, they'll be able to see their invoices in their affiliate dashboard. Now for the last option in the sell tab, we have my affiliate program. This is where you would go to see all the information regarding the affiliates who are promoting your offers. So you can go ahead and choose a period of time and see all the activity from your affiliates. The first number that you'll see right here is the amount of sales you've made through your affiliates, as well as the number of new leads that affiliates have sent your way. And finally, the amount that you've paid in commission to your affiliates. But then right here, you'll see the list of your affiliates. You can see their email addresses and also the amount that they'll be paid and the number of leads that each of them has sent your way. Then if we scroll down a little bit to the bottom, you'll see the commission structures. These are basically shortcuts to the order form, sales pages, upsells, downsells, or any other final page where you're selling an offer and decided to have an affiliate program for them. So instead of having to go to each one of them and edit the rate and commission, you can quickly do that here. So here you can choose the payout delay, 
and the commission percentage that they will receive whenever they bring in a new client.